what is going on well, i'm a dog and it's your girl dramatic key and i am back with another video so i don't have a whole whole lot of time for me to like um you know chit chat like that but i definitely want to talk to y'all while i get ready um for work today okay so boom all right so i want to tell y'all how i ended up coming across first of all yeah that's what we're gonna start off with how i ended up coming across my favorite youtuber and i end up being lemma dante here's the photo um so let me tell y'all about this night it, it's not even like a whole long story time or whatever and i i'm not going to make this a story time since i don't know girl just listen so i had this client and um he comes to the shop he gets a manicure and stuff and then he ended up calling me and inviting me out for dinner so i'm like okay he's not my type this guy is older and i'm really thinking in my head like do i really want to go to dinner with him or whatever because like i said he's not my type but i'm like okay cool like he he cool he's straight like he fine why not let's go ahead and go so he asked me where i wanted to go so i chose to go to wasabi i'm like i haven't been to wasabi in a good little minute so you know let's go there he's like okay so it's so crazy because i'm a tourist and this guy is a um he is a Libra, right? So we pull up. I you know, I'm driving my car, he driving his car. We pull up to Wasabi, we walking through the door, and as I turn the corner, I'm like, this look like Courtney. And I'm like, it ain't no way. But y'all know Courtney from I think she's from Jacksonville too. Um so I'm like, ain't no freaking way. So I get closer, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is Courtney. So if this is Courtney, then this must be Tay right here. Okay. So, girl, I open that dang on Zoe and I walk in there and I'm like, oh my gosh, it is Glamazine, Tay, and Courtney. Uh, what the heck? Y'all, I was so freaking excited. So I walk up and I'm like, hey, Tay, hey, Court. You know, I'm talking. We talking to each other like we knowing each other. He thinking in his head like okay and i noticed what he was thinking because of how he how he was like reacting he just kind of like walked off he was like okay like you know you you see your people i'm gonna let you do your thing and talk to your people or whatever so i'm like hey tay hey courtney this that and the third and um you know they say hey i asked him a couple questions and stuff and then i walked through the door y'all when i tell you i was so freaking excited like i was so excited so then I'm standing on the inside with him, so then I, I turned around and I was like, hold on, let me go talk to them for a second. He's like, okay, no problem, go do your thing. So I go back outside and then I'm like, oh my gosh, like, can I get a picture? And they was like, yeah. So we end up taking a picture and I was so lucky enough to end up getting Courtney's assistance number. I actually need to text her, by the way, or whatever. Um, because she kept saying like I like your nails your nails so cute X Y and Z and I was like thank you so much and then you know I was telling her that I got a shop and everything and um you know so we exchanged phone numbers I have a real bad habit of when it comes to me like meeting people and stuff even though I don't do hair anymore the first thing that come out of my mouth is oh my name is Key or you know what I'm saying and then I'd be like uh, I'm a cosmetologist. I do hair, lashes, nails, this, that, and the third. And then I thought I'm saying all of that. I'd be like, dang, I don't even do hair no more for real. So, yeah. That whole thing happened. It was like a really, really interesting fun night. It was like sitting in the table um, behind from us. Such a great experience. Um, I freaking, I don't think none of us was prepared to go out to eat that night. Like, I was looking crazy. 
uh, Tay and Courtney, they was looking at, all of us was looking like, we just about to go out and grab some food and just let that be that. Um, but such a great experience. Tay, if you watching this or, you know, Courtney, if you watching this or whatever, I would definitely love to get a chance to, you know, meet y'all and stuff again. Um, especially Tay. Like, I didn't even have time to, like, really, like, rendezvous and chit chat and stuff my brow pencils are so freaking low <clears throat> yeah i didn't have time to really like rendezvous and chit chat with tay um really and i had wanted to because i started to say like girl like when i used to be on snapchat a lot i used to snap tay all the time like she she real cool people like she always responded and stuff like i had been watching her for years okay I started watching Tay channel when I was doing like security and stuff and I was that that's really when I got heavily into um watching YouTube like that to be honest with you when um I was in cosmetology school and I was doing security while I was in school like I have nothing else to do but to start watching YouTube so when I tell you I was in it so so heavily like and then I started watching Tay I don't even remember I think the first video that I seen of her was when she was doing um, a story time and stuff and showing us what was in her old stripper, stripper bag or something like that because I be real heavily into those um, type of videos and stuff. So yeah, so I had been watching her for a long, long time, like a very long time. And then when her and Courtney started dating, I started watching Courtney um, channel too. I'm not going to lie. I don't watch Courtney channel as much as much but um because I know I got a lot more stuff in common like with Tay like with her lifestyle and stuff like that so that's the only reason why but such a great experience if y'all ever get a chance to meet e either one of these beautiful ladies then I'm telling y'all it's gonna be a really awesome experience now I just be kind of thinking like dang all them parties they don't had and I done missed out on like I'm kind of a little upset about that, but you know, your girl be busy working and all kind of stuff, but next year, I'm definitely stepping outside of my comfort zone with a lot of stuff and really like just getting out and speaking of the guy who I went on that, on that date with is calling me now. Um, I don't know if I should even answer the phone. Mm, I don't want to answer. So... <coughs> So, yeah, let me tell y'all while I'm not answering my phone real quick, okay? Because y'all gonna think whatever y'all wanna think, but I'm I'm just gonna tell you. So, mind y'all, like I said, this guy is older, okay? I talk to older guys, but I have a limit somewhere. And really, I kind of, I got a limit, but I don't have a limit. But it's the fact that he looks older as well. Like, he just looks like a granddaddy. Like, it's just, I can't. I can't operate in and really yeah no it's just not for me that like you could you could be a granddaddy age <laughs> to a certain extent but I don't want you to look like one and he kind of looks like one so he calls me all the time now usually I keep stuff professional and I try not to like date clients and stuff like that or like you know go out to eat and stuff like that with them because I do have a lot of male clientele now since I do pedicures and stuff. <coughs> and y'all excuse me because I do have a little cold as of like yesterday. And it is not the C word. So yeah, so he calls me and stuff and he asks me, how you doing? I'm just calling and say, hey, you know, see how you been and X, Y, and Z. And I'm like, okay, cool. Then he's like, you good? You need anything? Um, yada, yada, yada. And I'm like, yeah, like he used about four hundred dollars like i'm about to get ready and pay this bill like i i need my money to be replaced you know and he's like uh no before i said that i was like i was like i could always use something and so he's like okay tell me what you need this that and the third and i'm like okay cool so i tell him i'm like i could use about four hundred dollars right now like you asked and like he he's like He's like, you got gas in your car, you you good. Um, he was like, you don't need no extra money for anything. Um, like, really, did you ask it? So now I tell you, 
now I sit here and I tell you that if you want to help me out, you can give me like $400. He's like, I don't really know if I have that right now, but um, I can ask, you know, some of the guys on the job while I'm at, at the job and see if I can borrow something from somebody. Sir, be for real. You calling me, you trying to talk to me, and then you asking me if I need anything. If, then he's like, you know, two incomes are better than one and all of this stuff. And I'm like, I totally agree. So I'm telling you what I need. And then you going to tell me that you finna try to borrow this money um, from your job, from somebody. And so he's like, I'm going to call you later on. And um, when I get off work. So I'm like, okay. So he called me when he get off. And I'm like, hey, what's going on? He's like, nothing. I was just thinking about you. I was just calling you to, you know, see what's going on. Uh, I was like, okay, what you doing? Like, to me, I'm thinking in my head, like, you're not getting to the, to the, you're not getting to the topic of discussion fast enough for me. So I'm like, what's going on? What you doing? He's like, nothing. I um, just got off work about to go get me something to eat and stuff like that. And so I was like, well, did you figure it out? Because he was like, I'll call you back when I figure it out. He's like, no, um, I wasn't able to borrow nothing from uh, nobody at the job. Nobody didn't really have nothing. And I'm like, oh, okay. But then he's like, um, he's like, I got a hundred dollars for you. Um, <coughs> he's like, I got a hundred dollars for you if you need it. And then he's like, it's my last, but I don't mind giving it to you. So I'm thinking in my head, like, if it's your last and you trying to impress me and you ask me, you ask me what I need. Why would you tell me that it's your last and like you trying to you trying to make me feel some type of way or whatever like like that's that's not cute that's not attractive to me so why would you tell me that so I was like well if it's your last I'm not finna take it from you because it's your last and he's like nah don't worry about that um long as I got gas in my car and I got food I'm good he was like now nah, if you need it I can give it to you and then um, I can figure out what else I could do tomorrow and call you and give you some more money. And I'm like, nah, don't worry about it. Like, it's your last. Like, I figure, I figure it out. Like, I got it. I'm good. Like, thank God I didn't really need the money like that for real, for real. But don't, don't be out here offering money to women and trying to get their attention by throwing money at them. Even though that stuff really don't get my attention. Because like I said, this was one of my clients, like a new client that I just got. So, like, don't be out here trying to do all that if you can't really afford it. Like, you're trying to be somebody that you're not to get my attention in. And now you can't even hold up to, to what you're talking about. Like, that's not cute. That's not attractive at all. Like, because I don't need you to be that person in my life. I want a person like that in my life, but I don't need him to be that person in my life. So, so yeah. He been calling me for the last couple of days and stuff, actually, or whatever, and been like, oh, he gonna text me yesterday talking about some, oh, I was just, um, you know, I was thinking about you. I was just calling to see how you been doing. Next on Z, um, he was like, maybe we can go grab dinner and stuff. You just told me not too long ago that you had you was down to your last hundred dollars and you trying to take me out to dinner and stuff you don't need to be trying to do take me out to dinner you can't afford to be trying to take me out to dinner like if it's one thing i can't do i can feed myself i make sure my bills are paid you know what i'm saying like i can do a lot of this stuff for myself so don't come at me trying to offer me something and then try to like go back on your offer and then you expect me to talk to you I'm not even finna waste my time. I'm not finna answer my phone. I'm not finna waste my time. Cause you too old to be acting like that. And you too old to not have your stuff together. Like if I ask you for $400 and you don't got it, what am I talking to you for? What? Especially when you offer. I And that's the thing. I don't ask nobody for nothing. But I hate when guys come at me and they try to throw their money at me. And then when I ask you for it, when I tell you what I really need, then you want to be need and then you want to start acting like you don't got it in this and third okay if you don't got it that's fine stay over there i didn't want it in the first place i didn't need it 
I um I wasn't too concerned with it, but you offered it to me and I tried to take it and now uh, you don't have it. So if you don't have it, that's fine. That's it. End of discussion. So yeah. That's what's been going on with that. I know it seemed like I'm getting ready really, really fast. And I probably am, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Because I am in a rush to go. I was supposed to start doing um, this video like an hour ago, but I was so tired and I've been out with my family and stuff and um, my little cousin was sick and I had to babysit her for a couple of hours one day and she kind of got me sick because her mama come, came over here just coughing on everything. And today is her birthday actually, so um, so yeah, I'm not trying to do a whole, whole lot. I just wanted to do enough so that way I could do this hair review video for y'all. And then I wanted to like chit chat a little bit, you know, and just kind of update y'all on life. You know what I'm saying? So I will say this, I noticed since I've been back like posting, like I'm starting to get followers, like subscribers again. Um, so I really am trying to be like back consistent. I know I was doing good for a good little minute, but then like I kind of like had been working my behind off and so much stuff happened in life and I needed to like, I needed a break. Honestly, um, truly I needed like a little break um, from recording and you know, just sitting in front of the camera I needed a break from social media. I had been off there for like a month. Like I just, I needed to take some time out for me. Like y'all don't understand that social media and stuff, like being on this stuff all day, it affects your life in so many ways. Like so, so many ways. You get distracted and you don't even, you don't even know that you be distracted, which is the sad part. You know, you just thinking that you be on here and you don't think it has an effect on your life until you actually get off of there. And you realize like, damn, I've been being a lot more productive lately. Like, I got so much stuff accomplished. And that's how I felt when I took my social media detox. So, now I'm thinking that um, every two months or so, every two months, I'm going to be taking me a social media detox and um, I'll still be on YouTube and stuff of course and trying to post more and on top of that y'all I just I got everything a little bit more organized in my life right now with my scheduling and I'm trying to not like overwork myself at this moment so now that I got everything like situated I have time to actually sit down and record videos and edit like I'm about to take my laptop to the shop and stuff with me and um, on my downtime I'm about to go ahead and edit this video then I have another video that I can edit be editing as well to you know post for y'all and I do want to tell y'all this though I plan on doing um even though I'm not doing like complete vlogmas I do want to do five days before Christmas and that'll just be something that I start on my channel. And I'm going to start it on the, um, I'm going to start it on the 20th. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to start it on the 20th. And then my last video will be posted on the, um, on Christmas Day. Or I'm going to start on the 19th. Real quick, I've never done my makeup like this before. I have never, never done my makeup like this before. Um, by starting off and doing my foundation first and then my eyebrows and stuff afterwards, I always just went into doing my um eyebrows and then the concealer and then um then i'll do my foundation and then add more concealer and stuff but i really i like this 
I just feel like I actually really like this. So, now that I got my makeup done, I'm about to go ahead and put this wig on and stuff. And then I'll be back and show y'all the end result. A lot of y'all, I feel like this was the quickest, like, get ready with me video I have ever freaking done. Alright, so, yeah. Boom. Uh, I haven't even put on any lip gloss or anything. But I at least wanted to come on here and do this video real quick. So stay tuned for my hair review because it's it's coming up next or either it's gonna already be posted. So uh, make sure y'all check out that video and thank you so much for watching my channel. It's your girl Dramatic Key and I'll see y'all in the next video.